Hello guys, welcome to another beautiful day here on another farm. My name is Efoum Hine and this is Efoum TV. Thank you for subscribing to our channel, watching our videos and then giving us your very revered comments, suggestions. We appreciate all of them. Keep them coming. Today, we are at Enyinamso number two. Enyinamso is in the Ashanti region on the Kumasi Bebieni Road after Nkawe. So here, we have built an 80 by 90 feet greenhouse, which I'm going to show you in a minute. This 80 by 90 feet greenhouse is going to be used for vegetable production. I've already told you that, guys, if you are doing a greenhouse for crop production, especially vegetables, if it is not big, it is not worth it. So this is 80 by 90, like one full plot of land, and we are going to grow tomatoes full tomatoes all tomatoes and here uh, we are using the drip system as you can see we have laid our drip lines uh, which is going to be powered by a one horsepower uh, jet motor pump or jet uh, pump uh, water pump and then we have a 3000 liter poly tank that is going to supply water into this greenhouse so everything here as you already know has been done to standard to size and um we have built another 2000 capacity greenhouse um snail greenhouse behind this greenhouse that was the first thing that we did and that was that is already almost um ready to be stocked um our irrigation system is up and running and that is also going to be supplied with water by a 2000 liter polytank so all in all this has been um uh project in the pipeline as they say but we are almost wrapping up with the construction uh, as you can see once our drip lines have been laid our uh, um bears have been made we are only left with nursing of the uh, seeds and so we are going to make the beds that we are going to use to lay or to nurse the seedlings and after two three weeks time we are going to transplant the seedlings onto the main bed and this is one of the things that um i mean anybody can try it out but let me say this project is not cheap like i always say so if you want to do it you have to do it well and there are some things that you have to get right when you do a greenhouse system one you need to get the structure right so if you use anything less of i mean quality materials you might not like it in the end so you must get the structure right you must get the irrigation system also right because these are things you want to do once and for all and today i want to show you something about the irrigation system so the drip lines that we lay there are different types of drip lines that people buy not to spoil anybody's business but there are some types of drip lines that do not last okay so if you look at this drip line it is almost like a 16 mm pipe this is a 16 mm pipe and so and it is a hard pipe okay all round but there are some drip lines in the system that are almost flat and only begins to form when water comes inside they are very light and do not last long i will not advise that and so this drip line is a hard one 16 mm and you can see 30 centimeter each the knots are 30 centimeters each uh, from each other and um, these are the uh, dripping water where water drips out and um, this is what you might want to use for your irrigation system this is what I would advise anybody to buy for the irrigation system and when you are planting vegetables to know the type of vegetable that is most suitable for a greenhouse okay so it's not every vegetable that you want to grow in a greenhouse especially on commercial basis so here we are going to do tomatoes even the tomatoes you must know the seeds that you are going to use okay we have determinate indeterminate seeds so which one is most ideal for greenhouse so seek professional counsel before you do these things and don't just you know start and then later find yourself wanting of information and all of that so find a professional who can explain these things to you um, so you can um, do the right job uh, once and for all so I just wanted to come your way show you what we have done we'll take you around the greenhouse show you 
um, the irrigation system that we have set up, the pumps, the poly tank. This farm also belongs to somebody who just came back from the diaspora and wants to contribute his quota to the agricultural development of Ghana. Hopefully, this project goes well and then we can expand and build more greenhouses and then plant more crops. You guys know that vegetables are becoming very, very expensive in Ghana, especially tomatoes. So we want to encourage more people into the production of crops, into the production of vegetables, into the production of animals. We have to be self-sufficient in there and uh, feeding ourselves. So we already have a borehole here, which is going to be used to power everything here. And uh, because there's no electricity, most of our things here is going to be powered with the genset. Okay. Uh, we have an 11 horsepower gen genset, which is enough to power the uh, submissible pump in the borehole, to power the one horsepower jet water pump, and then the 0 0.5 horsepower uh, water uh, jet water pump for the greenhouse. So uh, I hope this video goes some way to get you informed, to encourage somebody, to let you know that farming is on the rise, agriculture is on the rise. So if you have any form of investment to make, my advice is that get into farming. Let's build this country, let's build Ghana together through farming. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope to catch you again another time on one of our most educative entertaining and interesting videos hopefully we'll come your way uh, with an interview of the person who is doing this project tell us his vision and all of that in our subsequent videos and stay tuned because we are going to also show you how we grow the seeds how we transplant them how we harvest them everything you need to know about tomato farming will be dealt with here my name is Efomine see you again another time I am a
Hmm? Nah, si Omo na dewe zimu. Oye de aminya o na si. Kena weja mo. Eh de ya. Eh de don wo wo re. Ye ye ko. Ye ko ye jo. Yeah, 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 yeah